Hey y'all, this week's quick tip is about taking some of these amazing templates that are free inside Canva for Education and putting them into something like Google Slides so your students can do some interactivity with these and design and create um, inside Google Slides or Google Drawings. So the first thing I wanna show you is um, a graphic organizer. So if you just begin searching for graphic, you'll see um, they will suggest this as a category and you have tons of graphic organizers to choose from. And these will really just um, have a variety of options for you from the littles on up. I have already chosen um, just a main idea template here. And I want to show you very quickly, if you've never used Canva, it's very easy to edit this. So of course, yeah, if you like it as is, go for it. But for me, I'm, I'm thinking the background could be darker and I can click on this color and change the color to make it something darker. I could also just select some text and I can change the font. Um, very, very easy to do these things. Um, you can search, there are tons of fonts in here uh, just to show you how easy that is. Now I can replace the image. I can edit this um, to fit the needs of my classroom, which is what I highly recommend when you find a template is to make sure it aligns with the needs of your classroom and your learning goals. So once you have completed um, your editing phase, you're gonna come up here to the download button. And depending on the type of template, it may just be the arrow or it could actually say download. So click on the arrow and then click this drop down. And what I want you to do for the purposes of putting this into Google Slides, we're gonna download this as a PNG file and just click download. So this is downloading. I've got slides ready to go and I wanna show you what you do in Google Slides. In order for students to add things on top of this graphic organizer, I want to make it a background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on background and I'm going to click choose image. From here, I'm going to upload the Canva graphic organizer that I just downloaded and click done. And there it is. Now, keep in mind, it does get stretched depending on the ratio, if it's exactly the same as your presentation. Um, but here's the point of making this a background as opposed to just inserting the image. Students can't move the image. Um, so backgrounds are sort of what they call locked. Now, of course, your older students are going to know how to change the background, but they can't actually edit any of the little pieces in here because it is all one big image. So when students are ready to add to this, say you assigned a copy inside Google Classroom, students can add, or you can add as part of the template just to help them out, a text box. And so that is where they will type their response. And that is how you can use things like graphic, graphic organizers to um, put something that's pre-made in a template, whether it's in Canva or somewhere else, um, adding it as the background will really help out. I hope you like this tip. I love Canva. And of course, you know, I love Google Slides. And um, th this is very similar to how it would work inside Google Drawings as well. But I do prefer slides over drawings for most things like this. If you like this tip, click that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. And don't miss the two-part series on using Canva for Education templates. I've got over 30 different ways that you can use these templates in your classroom. Go to shakeuplearning.com to learn more.